to, you know, go swimming with him and, and not feel, you know, terrible about getting into a bathing suit and all of those things. So relationally um, with my family that, you know, it's been huge. And and then as far as Dave and I go, for me anyway, this has been a really wonderful thing that we've been able to do together, um, that we've, you know, grown passionate about together, that we've both seen results in our own lives to together. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to just being able to do more and more with Dave as far as our exercise goes. We have a um, a tandem bike, and I'm very excited about getting on that with him. And both of us having together lost almost 100 pounds, you can see it could make a huge difference getting on a tandem together 100 oh. pounds lighter. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm excited about that. Dave, Jenny, Steve. Well, I, this is Steve, and I will tell you that it's some. Most everybody has been confessing their ages, but uh, uh, a year ago, last June, I turned 60, and to celebrate, uh, we participated in something called the Wild Canyon Games, which is a really wonderful fundraiser for Young Life, and the events are rigorous, and uh, so at age 60, I it was so easy for me to participate in a grueling three-hour geocaching where it was almost like climbing like a mountain goat and in, in up and down uh, hillsides. And then right after that, I, I did a half-mile sprint. Uh, and then the following day, I did a sprint uphill and came down a quarter-mile zip line, uh, splashed into the water and, and uh, swam to shore. But being able to participate in that event with Jenny were prior to that I just couldn't really has made our relationship much stronger because we're actually enjoying life together and then uh this this past June we we both participated in a 10k race and uh so it's really made a difference we we're doing fun things active things together and it has really even strengthened our marriage for that matter that's Beautiful. It's wonderful. It has. It has. And, and we, we've been married 12 years, and I would like to mention that I am 43, so we're 18 years apart. And so for Steve, getting healthy was um, was always, you know, weighing heavily on my mind uh, as I watched him, his health actually decline every year after we had gotten married. So um, I, I am thrilled, and I've made him promise he's he's going to live to to be well over a hundred years old. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and um, he can chase me around the house now, and I don't have to let him catch me anymore. That hundred year thing, she's going to, she's going to regret that one day. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I'll just take one more, just a few seconds, and just share how it's impacted our whole family. Just about every member in our family um, has gotten healthy on the program as well. So it's just it's really wonderful to see, you know, our our moms, my our siblings, um one of whom ha- is also a health coach as well paying it forward. So um just it's it's been the biggest gift I think um that I can think of in our lives. You you both you come with such compassion about this paying it forward that that you're so thrilled to be given back life and Vigor and and uh, the, the the promise that that you're going to do your optimal best at life, and that you just want to give that to other people, and that's so exciting. It's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. All right, Dave, your turn. I just like to sit and read. I don't do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I I was I was oh man. Nancy mentioned doing something that we both have a passion for together and uh, and that's probably the highlight for me. I it's been so fun. We feel like we've just started just doing something together that's just uh, so exciting that brings some of our um you know giftedness together in one place and, and matches so well with our passion for other things. And and for me from the energy perspective, um you know, my passion for going overseas, and I've done this type of work since the 1990s, uh, the paying it forward part is to take 
the basic skills we take for granted in the states with law enforcement and giving it to officers in third world countries to teach ethics and uh, anti-corruption and community-oriented policing and, and all designed to make it safer for children who, who in this case, have survived atrocities like genocide in Darfur. Uh, they settle in the southern cities in South Sudan. I mean, when I dream about my why, you know, part of that is me holding these babies and kids, uh, thousands of them, in places like uh, remote areas of Sudan. So, you know, it's it's kind of, I have a bank teller at the local bank here in Bend, Oregon. She calls me her Indiana Jones friend because she sees that I do things that are dangerous, and I don't really look at it that way, but... Um, Traveling overseas is is, is, um, is hectic, a lot of logistics involved, and so the energy requirement is huge. And before this program, I mean, I could I could do it, but I would be totally exhausted for a couple of weeks when I got back. Um, I'm just excited about the potential for, you know, being able to do it for many more years. Uh, so when you think of the impact on your family, on, on whatever it is you do in life, I mean, it's everybody's got a different experience with that, and and that's what we mean by thinking about your why and dreaming about that because it just it's just amazing how many more doors it opens up in life um, that your motivation uh, begins uh, to unfold. So I'm really excited about what's uh, what's still coming. It's uh, it's just started. You know, you're talking about the longevity of life, too. It, it, there is a, a meme, a, a false belief in our society that was cultivated probably from our parents that we should be retiring in all sorts of ways at age 65. And that's just not going to be the case for majority of people with the finance and economics changing a lot of retirement plans, as well as people not having jobs and needing to get jobs later in life or help support family members. So... To know that you could go and be productive and work and not have to retire or be energetic and have fun, that this isn't about going into the golden years and kind of resigning yourself to it. It's like being alive all the way, maximizing whatever you can. None of us can know when the end is going to come or how it's going to come, but, you know, why kind of wait for it to come and get you and escort you home in your wheelchair when you have a possibility in your hands empowering you, you are empowered by this program. You are empowered by saying to yourself, I'm going to optimize my life. I'm going to start right now, today, whatever I can do today, and then the next step and the next step and the next step. Why not move in that direction as opposed to feeling like you're going into to death happily or sadly? So I really appreciate that we are all – at the younger side, a baby boomer's age, really. And, and and here we're all saying, you know what, we're going to go into this next phase of life trying to make it even better than the other phase of life we just came out of. And I think that has to be the attitude we embrace toward. You know, I need to take a moment with the listeners, though. Um, there is there is a reason why we're not mentioning what the program is that they're talking about. In fact, there's lots of reasons for it. And you can discuss that in person with Nancy and Dave at a different time, but I think the primary reason we're doing is that we're trying to help you realize that this is about you reaching out and saying, okay, Nancy, Dave, help me out. Jenny, Steve, help, help me out. Help me understand what I can do, where I'm at, what my why is for wanting to optimize my life, and now what the how is, so that it, it's not so much an emphasis on the name of the program or the why, the wherefores of the program, but really an emphasis that embracing maybe this program, maybe another program, but it's all about optimal health and walking into any stage of your life saying, you know what, it's time for me to make the best in my body so I can have the best in my life. So I thank you, Nancy, Dave, Steve, and Jenny, for joining us and, and trying to motivate people and then offering a program that really helps people harness their ability to make their bodies wonderful machines that support the rest of life. So, again, Nancy, your phone number is 541-390-2273. Dave, your number is 541-390-2891. Great liaison for helping all of us, encouraging all of us to move forward. And, Nancy, thank you for being my coach 
I know I'm not the most reach out person, but that's probably my lifestyle, but I know you're there. And I think that's also helpful for people that uh, just know that someone's there. Okay, we're about to wrap up, but guess what? You all get your time.